Hi everyone, welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Uh, this is another week, I think it's week 30 or 31. I've kind of lost track. I'll have to go back and look at my playlist. Um, but we have hit uh, the 30s, so it's quite a few weeks since I've been creating in this um, puzzle book, and I've really enjoyed it. Um, I think you, as a viewer, I think you've enjoyed it as well. It's fun. It's creative. You can do whatever you want if you haven't seen it before. The only requirements is to use what you have. Uh, I use my vintage paper dolls from sewing patterns, the jackets that I have cut out. Uh, I love using these, so I thought this would be a great, great idea, and I'm creating a new journal for myself. And um, so the requirements are you use what you have, you use your scraps, and you, there's no prompts, you can fill in. This week, uh, I filled in dress for success. And then I usually do a little story as to what I've titled my collage. And it's a lot of fun. So go back in my playlist, take a look at what I've done so far. And the hashtag for this is 2023CW4. Um, crossword collage okay so if you want to join in use that hashtag and then I can see what you've done and like I said it is quite fun so these two gals I have this week and they do look like they are dressed for success when I look at these two ladies I see housewives okay I see women um, that they this is how they dress. My mom dressed like this when I was little. Never saw her in a pair of slacks. She either had mostly dresses. Um, she wasn't big on skirts and blouses until, you know, later down the road. But she always had a lovely dress on. And that's, that's how I remember her. Um, so I want to, you know, dedicate these two pages. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. I had some things in mind, but they didn't work out. So I just said, you know what? I'm going to grab my Grabby. I have, uh, if you're not familiar with Grabby, it's a scrapbooking club. And they were nice enough way back when they first started to send me a box along. Uh, I know they sent boxes out to a lot of other crafters. But uh, I thought it was very nice of them to send me a box. I've never had anyone ask me to use their products before, so it was it was quite lovely. And I said, you know what, I'm just going to get out my box of Grabby, my papers. I have stickers here, all kinds of um, really pretty, very feminine stickers. I have papers here. I've already chosen a couple um, papers that I thought might look lovely. I'm going to grab some for over on this head. I'd like to make a pocket for over here. And then I have some of these. Now this is going to create a glare, but I have some of these little um, pieces here. All right. So you, unfortunately with my lighting, it's like an acetate with the gold. It's going to create a little bit of a, a glare, but I'm going to work with those today. So, yeah, um, I hope you stick around and you watch and see how I put this together. Uh, I grabbed these two here, and I guess that's why they call it grabby, because you can just grab whatever you want to work with. Um, and I'd like to, I, obviously, I want to fill in here. So I thought I would see what I have over here that maybe I could continue. I don't want to use vellum because I don't want the words behind here to be seen. These are sticker. This is sticker paper, so I don't want to use that. Here's some more vellum. But you can kind of see what they have to offer. I'm going to pull this. I'm afraid I'm going to... See, it's kind of away from my desk and I don't want to I can't work with my arms way out and I don't want to be out of screen so I think you can see everything yeah I like this that's better um, I'd love to use something like that but again I don't want to see the words 
through the vellum. We don't need Hagerman horse. We don't need this. We're not doing outside. I may end up having to go. And this looks like vellum again. Oh, here's some plain. But I'd like something maybe a little bit more muted. I don't really want, I don't want that. This is quite pretty, but I don't know if that will go. I don't know if I want the, because this is all quite muted. So I don't want this. So now I'm going to have to set that aside and let's go, maybe I can find some smaller pieces over here. Maybe a one of these. This just has writing on it, which might be kind of might be kind of good. But then now I don't know if I want all of these lines here. Um, I may have to make it more of a collage, or true collage style. Let's see here. I don't want my Valentine. Valentine's Day is next month. I am not, just so you know, you won't ever see me do anything with a Valentine's theme. I've never really cared for Valentine's Day. Um, don't like it. I know that sounds terrible, isn't it? I know there's a lot of engagements. A lot of people just love Valentine's Day. I never have. And it's kind of hard to create when you don't really care for something. I just can't get into it. Maybe I'll just use some book page, maybe some dictionary page or something behind there. Because I'm just not loving any of this. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my dictionary. Or something like it. Um, so I grabbed my The Complete Book of Gardening. And there's some nice, just vintage pages in here. Um, that I'm going to pull out. And we'll see how this goes. Might as well take this one, seeing that I've kind of ripped that. So I'm going to get this on the background first, and then we'll we'll let's see. Um, so I hope everyone is doing well. Um, We are now in January, and again, the days just seem like they are going quite quickly. Um, that and now we're going to go back to this here I'm even wondering if maybe we will I'm trying to get better about um, just kind of creating like I don't want to say live I never like to say live um, but not have things so planned out 
it may take me a little bit longer because I really am not used to I am used to having things planned out, especially like with Marguerite Miller challenges, because you you have to, uh, I think you have to plan out Marguerite's weekly collages. Because sometimes it takes you a while to find the prompts. And I can't imagine just starting from scratch Um, all right, I like this right here. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe I'll do a little bit of washi tape here. Let me see where my girls are landing. I'm going to have to do a little bit of cutting. A lot of times, if you see me work with these gals, they're quite fragile. And this one is much older than my other pieces that I have. Uh, so what I do is I leave the paper around the feet because I store these in a box and I don't want the feet to be torn off. Um, so that's why they're, you know, somewhat half cut, three quarters cut, 95% cut. Um, these are like little, that's like little stamp washi. Can you see the little perforation? Those are like stamps. But I thought if I could add a little bit of washi just to do this. You know what that means. Oh, let's see. I've got some vintage letters and numbers. <laughs> All right, that's the other thing. I'm trying to use a little bit more of my washi because I do like it. So I think what I will do is, and I'm not going to ink any of this up. I don't think that, you, that everything has to be inked up and distressed. Um, sometimes it's just nice to just do a nice collage. So I want to talk a little bit about, um, I guess even the 1940s. I wasn't around for the 40s, but I've seen enough magazines, vintage magazines, Saturday Evening Post and, um, you know, my relatives from the, and I'm going to have to show you a photo. If I can, I think I know where it is, um, but I will show you what I'm, what I grew up with. But like I said, my mom always wore a dress. Her hair was always, um, you know, very nice looking. Um, she wasn't one that was like really into like, you know, bouffant style. She always had nice loose curls. Um, I don't know how the heck she slept on those rollers, but she would, I never ever saw her use a blow dryer. Um, you know, she would do her hair, she would wash her hair, and then it would go up in the rollers, or she would say curlers. Um, and then she would put a, I always said she put a babushka, because my, we're Polish, and um, she would put her rollers in a, a nice little scarf and she always had a way of tying it in a little bunny bow on the top of her head and then tucking in the the little bunny ears and then she would I can remember so many nights she would sit in the chair and she would do her nails she'd get her nails all painted up my mother had beautiful fingernails not like me 
um, you know, I was putting nail polish. I, ha I had a good run putting the nail polish on. And then after a couple months, I noticed my nails, all my nails were splitting. So I haven't put polish back on and they just haven't gained the strength back. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what the nail polish did to my nails. But my, my nails look terrible. So please excuse, <laughs> excuse my fingers in the videos. Um, but yes, yeah, she would get her nails all done up. She had gorgeous, gorgeous fingernails. And I was a biter. And she used to get so upset with me, biting my nails. And I'd say she, she didn't get upset. She would just, you know, remind me not to keep my fingers out of my mouth, which my sons do that now. Mom, that's a dirty habit. You know, get your fingers out of your mouth. I'm like, I know, thank you. And my mother used to say to me, I'll give you a dollar for every nail that you can grow out. But I had to keep them long for a certain amount of time. I couldn't do it. I'd get that $10 and then a week later, my nails would be gone. I'd chew them off. Um, I was a big thumb sucker when I was little. Loved sucking my thumb. And the only reason I did that, I told my mother, this is, I used to tell my mom, this is all your fault because I had a, I had a ski jacket that I, old ski jacket that I slept with and it made a, a noise. And I used to take the outside of the ski jacket away from the liner and I would go like this and I could hear that noise and I would suck my thumb and that's how I went to bed at night. Probably too much information for you right now. And she, when she took that ski jack away from me, I wasn't done sucking my thumb. I think I was only maybe three. <laughs> so once she did that, I started biting my nails. So I always, I blamed my mom for me biting my fingernails. She deprived me of my thumb sucking. <laughs> oh, the things that we remember and blame our parents for, right? All right, so I thought it would be really pretty to put, these are stickers, to put these behind the gales and highlight them. Um, so, yeah, so I just remember, God bless all of my aunts, my mom's sisters and her sister-in-laws. Um, they all wore dresses. They all wore jewelry. They all had their hair nicely done and they didn't go to a beauty parlor oh i just had this bear with me folks um there we go yeah this is i was gonna say this is a sticker right but then maybe Hold on, maybe I didn't peel it properly. Or maybe it's just old. Maybe it's an old sticker. Maybe I shouldn't have peeled it, huh? What do you think? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have peeled this. Because now I just... I ruined that one. Let me get another one. So I guess these aren't stickers. Um, I do have another one of those, which I'll use that in some other um, I have these two. Some other piece. So I guess they don't they don't peel. They're not meant to peel. I thought I had another round one. All right, I don't, so I will use, I'll use one of these here. I'll use this one. Well, that's too bad. Say, Levy. 
Okay, so we will just put that there. But I have the best picture of my mom and my aunts are sitting around um, a table at my aunt's house. And they were, I think they were all playing poker. They've got their beer that they're drinking and they are, they are all dressed up. <laughs> I just love it. And I think... Um, I just don't see that anymore in today's society. I think everything, unfortunately, I blame the blue jean industry back in the 70s and the leisure, the pantsuit for women. Um, I think it all went, it all went terribly wrong when we all changed to pants and uh, you know casual wear and I still like to dress up and it's funny in the summertime I wear a dress more than I wear shorts I love just a, a simple a-line dress um, very simple, cool, you know, sleeveless, and I'll wear that, and my boys will say, Mom, where are you going? Where are you going all dressed up? I go, I'm not going anywhere today. As a matter of fact, I'm going to putz around the house and get things organized and cleaned up, and they're like, oh, we thought you were going out. I'm like, nope. I said, this is my attire for the day. Um, it's just nice and in my husband's office um, and I know in my accountant's office they have a strict rule that it's business casual um, there are no no blue jeans allowed um, they'll do casual Friday. If you're going to the quarry, you can wear blue jeans because you can't obviously dress up at the office, then head out to the quarry because it's a dust bowl out there. Um, but if you're, you're in the office, and we don't have people come to our office per se, um, we don't have customers come or clients, but our theory is if you dress up, um, we're just old fashioned and people are going, people argue with me on this, <laughs> is that you take more pride in your work. Um, we're not saying you have to wear a suit and tie. You know, it's like I said, it's business casual. A lot of the guys, when they, meet with architects, they wear their blue jeans. We we dress according to how the architects dress. And right now, most architects dress um, with blue jeans, a nice dress shirt, and um, a blazer. So that's how we like to have our project people meet with them. Um I don't think an architect would take anyone seriously if they walked into their office to do a presentation and, um, you know, a golf shirt. Um, and a pair of sweats or even shorts in the summertime. I don't even think that they would give us the time of day. We wouldn't have an audience. So I really do think it does matter. Um, what you wear, just like when you go to a job interview. Now, these are just little tiny, uh, they look like they're written in French, little tiny sayings, and I'm just putting them around to just kind of break things up. But I also, I know my mom and my, my aunt's homes, 
my godmother, um, their houses were pristine. They may not have been, you know, dusted to the T. My godmother had a French poodle. Her name was Bridget. You know, and there was, there was dog hair, and although poodles don't shed, but just the dust from... Uh, from her poodle, um, but you know what? They they kept a very neat, clean home. The beds were always made. You could go in any bedroom, although we didn't. We weren't allowed. We weren't even allowed to roam their house, their home. We knew we could go in the kitchen and we could go in the living room. You never went down the hallway towards anyone's bedrooms. When I was growing up, I didn't even go in my parents' bedroom. Uh, unless I was invited. Um, never, ever, ever went in my mom and dad's bedroom. Even if my dad said, oh, you know, I go in my top drawer and take 50 cents out and you can take that to the penny store or whatever. I've, I felt like I was invading their privacy. Um, it's just something that you did not do. My brother and I have had that conversation, you know, and he notices when he um, has been at other people's homes or that the kids just run rampant and they go, they go all over the house. And he goes, we didn't even go in mom and dad's bedroom. I said, no, we didn't. Um, never, never, ever did. Never went in my cousin's bedrooms unless I was invited, even if my cousins were home and they weren't out. You know, my cousins were a lot older. They were, they were teenagers. They were like 16 and 17 when I was eight years old. So I never went and, you know, people, I don't know if they were in there. I never thought of it, but they could have been talking with a boyfriend on the phone or, you know, getting dressed or undressed, but you just, you didn't do that. But all of their homes were very, I hope that isn't too much of a glare, but you can kind of see here. See that with the, I think that's really pretty. Um, but yeah, they kept a very neat home and they took a lot of pride in it. Um, I no, don't want to do that, so I'll go back over here. You know, and they worked. They ended up working as we all got a little bit older. Um, there was only one aunt of mine that didn't, she didn't work because she had eight kids. Um... And my Uncle Buster had a good job. But she really ran that house with a tight ship. Like a tight ship. Like a... But she was funny. I could do it that way. I don't know if I want that. So I just admire... These women back in the day, and my mom, even as she grew, you know, she was older, she would never ever, even when she was in her 90s, and I took her to the doctors, she always had to have that little bit of lipstick on. You know, she didn't wear dresses then. I mean, I think times have changed, and um, she would... She had her slacks because, you know, as you get older, you get your you get cold. Your your blood isn't what it used to be. But she always looked very presentable. She was always very worried about her appearance and she wanted to look nice and she wanted, you know. And I understand that. I get it. When I go to the doctors, I I get dressed. I dress up. 
It's just, it's just what I do. All right, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because this is kind of brittle, I'm going to fold this over just a little bit so this pocket will be, it'll be a little bit more. And I, then I can still um, have it come up a little bit, or maybe I can find something here on this side. Um, And we still dress up for holidays. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know if a lot of people do that anymore either. But when my mom and dad used to come um, for Christmas or Thanksgiving, my dad always had a tie in his, his uh, top coat on, his suit jacket, blazer. I always had a beautiful blazer on, and my mom always came with a lovely dress or a blouse and skirt. I always dressed up. I always had a dress or skirt on. My boys, they always had, they always dressed up. I always put a dress shirt on them. And I just, I don't know, I just think it's, I just really liked that. We still dress up. You know, My for Thanksgiving this year, my daughter-in-law came over with a real pretty skirt on and a blouse, and it's, it's just nice. So at least in our home, th those traditions are still taking place, and it's quite lovely. Let's see, let's put that there like that. I'm going to leave this down here. Or oh, I'm wondering. No, I'm going to leave this over here like this. Maybe I'll put that down just a little bit. And then I could add some washi tape. Like that. Because I like that's pretty. Um, maybe I could take this and just kind of put that out there like that a little bit. That way I could use that up. And it, this side still looks, this side still looks halfway decent. Silly me thinking that was a sticker. Um, I wish I had, I think I might have a few more of these words. These little sayings. I don't want that. That says open alone. I don't want that. Um, this is faith can move. Don't want that on there. Those are, I might have used them all. Yeah, I think I used them. Oh, there's something here. Here's a little bit here. I could put that right up there like that. And then, what can I put here? Tell me, what do you, what should I put here? Should I put um, maybe just some washi tape? I could continue over. Let's get this down, because I do like this. I'm just going to add this here. And I have to remember not to glue the top, because I do want this to be a pocket. that there like that. This I want to use, so we'll put that there. This we'll put here. I was going to rip and tear those sides, but I don't think I will.
up, 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 up. I know, I hear you. I hear you. I hear everybody. I know, I almost forgot that, didn't I? There. Whew. All right, let's see. Okay. And we'll put this up here. Like this. One thing I like about this art glitter glue is it does dry clear with this acetate type material. I do I do like that. As you can see, I've, as much as I've complained about this, I'm still using it. Okay. Um, I have a little bit here. Um, I'm going to add a little bit. to be careful if I'm going to put this. I don't want to put that there. I'm going to put this over here like that. A little bit there because I would like to use this again. I thought this was pretty. Um, and I'd like to put a little something more here. Mm, but I don't want to really put another piece of washi. What can I put here? I feel like I just need to put something a little bit over here. Yes, no, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. There's one little thing I didn't pack, I didn't open up. Where did that go? I thought maybe, where did it go? Or maybe I could use, maybe I could put one of these pretty little flowers just right here because I have all, well, I've got a pocket here and then I guess I have a little pocket here because I did, I taped, I glued this down all the way to the top, didn't I? But I might be able to loosen that. There we go. So I still have the pocket. Ah. <sighs> This one's kind of pretty, the white. I could put a flower right here. Maybe I'll use this one, because this is quite pretty. I don't know what's in this box. Oh, there's some little things in here. This is grabby as well. Let's take a look. These are just little tags and little snookums. I call these little things snookums. also have my plain little pieces that I could put there. I think these all have decorative items on them. I like this time. That might be kind of fun because know who that was. Sorry about that. I can leave a message. Most of my stuff now is just spam. I guess if it's really important too, they can call back, but not during my video. Not during my video. All right, what did I do with my, what did I do with my flowers? that I just cut to cut out. Oh dear. Um, oh, here it is, I put it back in the pile. All right, so I'm just gonna kinda 
roughly cut this. Yep, see, they left a message. And another one. Probably somebody that I had to talk to. And now when I go to call them back, it's going to take forever to get them on the line. Has that ever happened to you? Oh, dear. And the other thing that I've noticed is that um, nowadays, when you call someone, um, you know, they'll say, oh, please excuse us, we're very busy. Leave your name and number and we'll get back to you in three work within three working days. Well, I never know where I'm going to be in three working days. And if I don't have my phone on me, I have no idea. Um if I'm going to get their call back, you know, be able to get get them to, you know, call them back and get them back on the line. So that is a little crazy because sometimes I don't, I don't know if people really, I don't know. I don't remember the days of the wall phone and the princess phone and where, you didn't get a lot of solicitors and you just, there was no caller ID. You, you just answered that phone. Most of the time it was a relative or an invitation to do something or go somewhere. The good old days, right? Okay, there. I like that. I think that... I think that came out just lovely this week. So let's clear some of this nonsense away. I'm going to hold it up because of the glare. So that is this week's crossword collage, Dress for Success. And I think I'm going to put the year in there. I have a nice little pocket, and then I have these sweet little women here. And it's just reminds me of a wonderful time with my mom and my aunts and parties and I think I'm going to put in here I'm going to put in 1950 and I'm going to put um, over here I'm going to put 1960 all right so that is it for this week's crossword collage. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with me your memories of your family, um, your mom. If she, I'm sure she dressed like this as well, dusting and vacuuming and because you never knew they had to run out to the store at the, you know, at a moment's notice to um, grab something for dinner that night or the packet of jello that they forgot for that special recipe um so thank you again everybody i really appreciate your support especially on this project that i started and i will see you in my next video Alrighty, bye bye